Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for Coffee and Card. This is our card that we're making today. Um, so we're back on to um, kind of normal cards. We've gone away from Christmas. Hopefully everyone's up to date with their Christmas card making. Um, and I thought it'd be nice to do some thank yous because I'm sure everyone will have thank yous to do um, after Christmas. So this is using our new bundle of um, this um, month which is the Flowers of Friendship bundle and that coordinates with the Flowers and Leaves punch but we're not going to use that today, we're just going to do a little bit of fussy cutting and we're going to be using the large um, sort of stem and flowers and then one of the thank you um, sentiments, we're using this one, thank you for everything. So what we're going to do first of all is I have got a C6 card base ready up to the side um, in very vanilla so I thought I'd use something a little different this time to basic white and then I've also cut a piece of um, very vanilla a rectangle which is the same height as the card base there but obviously a little bit wider um, you can make that any width, I'll just double check, so that's seven centimetres. But what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our flower on there and then cut around just one edge when we do that. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sentiment stamped in the middle. I'm using Sahara Sand. Um, you could use an, sort of any similar paler colour that kind of goes with the uh, with the card base. And I'm going to start by stamping my sentiment right in the middle. And then we're creating this kind of brick effect. So first of all, I'm going to stamp going across. Try and get your sentiment in line if you can. If it's not perfect, you probably won't notice it too much. Once you've got everything stamped, to be fair, because you're creating like that kind of background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go between now underneath and the same on this side and then I'm just going to go off the edge with this one just because I don't really want to see any blank spaces I want it to be completely covered then we're going to go back to these spaces and you should just about fit that in I'm going to go back up to the top so again brick effect we're going to go in between and then I'll just go slightly off with those ones and then filling in up here as well There we go, that's enough of that one. So we've filled in all of our background. I'll just pop that to the side. So I'm going to take my rectangle and I'm going to stamp my flowers in um, memento block thinking what I was doing then and then you can choose how far you want it to go across because we're just going to cut around half of the flower so I think I'm going to go about there I'm going to go down where my stem is towards the bottom of the card and then we're going to colour in so I'm colouring in with stamping blends um, I'm just going to just double check. So I've got the two light and dark shades of Old Olive and then the light and dark shades of um, Highland Heather. So I'm going to start with my lighter colour first. I'm just going to get my colour onto my petals. I 
And just bear in mind that your colour may look slightly different because you're colouring onto very vanilla. my first colour down so now with my darker colour just going to pick up on some of these lines that they've already put on the flowers for us just a little bit on the tips of the flowers as well And then I'm just going to go back with my light again, just try and blend those a little bit more together. So it's just giving it a little bit more depth, really. But you don't have to do that step, it just depends how blended you want it to appear. Then I'm going to use the um, the green and I'm just going to go over the stem to obviously make that look green. And then get the same colour onto the leaves. And then using my dark old olive, just going to pick up a bit of colour on the veins there. And I don't think I'm going to blend that so much, I'll leave that as that is. Then what we're going to do is we are just going to work out where we are going to cut to. So I'm just going to use my grid paper. So I'm going to go up the side here of the stem. So if I'm going up and following up from the stem, I'm just going to look to see where I'm going to follow this line up. It's tricky to see. So it means that I have to cut to about that point there. So I've just marked it with a pencil. And then I'm just going to leave a very small gap all the way around my edge of my flower and leaves, which is obviously what happens when you cut out with dies or with a punch. And we'll just go carefully around these petals. Now I'm not going to cut right into this leaf here. I'm just going to go round that. And then just take it so that I can go up against this stem here. And then I need to cut to about where that point is so that I can turn my card around and I can make a cut down there and then just cut up to that. So you can see we've ended up cutting away that part and then that will stick on top of our card. So I'll bring back the card base. I'm going to use some dimensionals to mount it. You could use um, just glue. If you want it to have a flat card, one thing to bear in mind is you're going to need quite a few dimensionals on the back of this so that it doesn't sag on your card. So 
I'm not kind of keeping count of how many I'm using, but I am using a fair amount here. Just get all these backs peeled off. Okay, and then I'm just going to very carefully line that up at the side and the bottom. And then when I'm happy with it, lay it down and press it down. Then the last thing to do is just to try a bow or something that you can put at the bottom there now i've only got a very tiny bit of ribbon here so i have a feeling i'm not going to be able to tie a bow with that so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a knot so this is a little chip that you can do if you've only got a very short piece of ribbon you can get something to tie around our glue sticks are quite a good one because um, you can stand that up like that while you tie it and you're just going to tie a knot like that and then tie it in a knot again hopefully I've got enough just to do that it's a little fiddly but hopefully I can get that through There we go, just about did it. And then slide that off. And then you can cut the loop. And then that gives you a couple of different lengths of ribbon there that kind of almost look a bit like a bow. Um, I'm just going to tidy up the ends because these ends are a bit scruffy. And then I'm just going to shorten these new ends a little bit. And that gives you quite a nice little bit to attach that you've used up your ribbon, even though it's too small to tie as a bow, um, you can still use it. So I'm just going to get a glue dot and attach that to the knot. And then stick that on the card, just at the bottom there. And actually now it's stuck down, I can see that obviously I've got some shorter bits and a couple of longer bits. So I'm just going to make that one shorter to sort of match that other short one. And then that looks a little bit more like a bow then. So there we go. If I just bring back the other one, you can see both of them there. So just to recap what we've used, we've used the Flowers of Friendship stamp set. Um, and we've used the large um, stem with flowers and one of the thank you sentiments at the top. We've used a vanilla, very vanilla card base, um, size C6, which is half of an A4 sheet and then scored at 10.5. And then I have used a piece of um, very vanilla for this bit where the flower is, which measures 10.5 centimetres that way and seven that way, but you could cut it at any distance you wanted, depending on how far you want your flowers to go across. And then we have used Old Olive and Highland Heather stamping blends with black memento ink for the flower and then Sahara sand ink to stamp the sentiments and then finally this is a bit of retired ribbon so i think this is in black blue bliss this color um and then that's just tied and attached with a glue dot either in a bow like that one or this was our kind of cheats bow if you like with a small scrap that we had left so i hope you'll have a go at that um please leave me a comment if you like the card or you've had a go yourself um and if you need any help with anything or if you'd like to purchase any of the products that I've used, then obviously drop me a message either on Messenger or my Facebook page, Claire's Craft Store, or you can email me at claire at claire'scraftstore.co.uk. 
thanks for joining me and I will see you again next week for week two using the same stamp set in our series for this month. Thank you. Take care. Bye.